John here guys and today we're talking about the Z stacks that's right do you know Z's Z stacks <laughs> <Got he. laughs> <Got he. laughs> that's right and this is a very unique stack for a number of reasons. Usually you don't see this many unique features in one new stack from a company that we've never really heard of. So let's see what the fuss is about. Well, one of the things that the fuss is about is this is a 60 amp ESC with a giant heat sink that looks like the car cover on a sports car. It, in addition to being very large and charged, has these gigantic sized Boba Fets on the back. In addition to that, it has a very uniquely shaped flight controller on here that has mounting flat side solution for your Unify V3 or a crossfire micro receiver that's right both of those just mount straight on there and they have solder pads to be able to mount them up no wires needed if you are an analog guy uh, it also has available spare uarts for you to be able to use with the dji system if you so choose and on top of that it also comes with a series of these LEDs. Now these LEDs have three wires, meaning they should be addressable and you can be able to change the color configuration of these really cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10 LEDs on each of these. And if you look at the bottom of the flight controller, you have these little plugs, they plug in just like that. So we're gonna go to the bench and really show you a little bit more notes of this, but let's give you the overall which is, this is an F7 processor. They've gone all the way to the latest and greatest tech on this thing. And in addition to that, they are including the MP6000 gyro. They haven't tried to like jump the shark and give you a different gyro. No, it's the same re reliable gyro. So this is the best gyro and um, flight controller processor combo that you can hope for. It goes all the way up to 8S on this system. So if you are planning a giant six, seven, eight, ten 10 inch rig that goes up to 8S, you could really almost fly something like beast class with this stack right here. And it comes with a lot of capacitance, two capacitors we're gonna go over in just a second. So I really wanna get dived into this LED system. Now check out these tiny little LED strips. They're very, very small. They're perfectly meant to be able to double side tape to the bottom or top or side of an arm. They are already wrapped in heat shrink and protected, and they have a little connector. You have a number of these little connectors. Now, what do you notice about these connectors? They are three wired. That means that you should have power ground and a signal. So I believe these are gonna be addressable LEDs. Very cool, which means that you should be able to change the colors on them. That is awesome. Now check out the flight controller down here. You have your big harness up at the top to be able to go and connect to the electronic speed controller. But you notice you have a number of these four smaller connectors that is for these. So these just plug in just like that. And then you have four of these LEDs that can go one per each arm, or you can put them wherever you want in your quad setup. And it comes with a number, an extra one of these. So you have spares if you should need. I really like that. Check out what else it comes with. It comes with some really nice um, aluminum hardware for the stack itself. Some stack screws, some gummies, a couple of harness. So you have a backup if you should ever damage one in one way. I really like when they give you a backup. It has some pins to be able to install some other accessories onto this unit. This is a pair of 470 35 volt capacitors some additional gummies and hardware on there so i believe you're gonna have a gummy system for both the esc and the flight controller actually if i look at it the gummies are already pre-installed so those are just spare gummies i really like when they do this for you it just saves you a step then you have your xt60 already wired up on this side it is the kind that doesn't i like to put my um, capacitors on the pigtail like right here so that really doesn't allow you to do that so i might use a different 
lead and use this for something else, or I might see if I can fit it inside the build. I'm gonna go ahead and install one more of the LEDs just so we can be reminded of that system. Let's take a look at the ESC first. This is a 60 amp. You can tell by the weight. Uh, that's probably some of the weight of this heat sink, and also it's a very thick board in there. So it does um, seem that it probably is pretty strong. Um, very nice size pads. You can probably use some larger size motors. So if I was going to do a, a large build, I'd probably use this very nice size motor pads. Let's check out the size of these ginormous fets on the back and a couple of dual rows of caps. Uh, very, very nice. So hopefully this is going to be enough to take all of that. I really like here at the front that you have your harness, but you actually have direct solder pads too for those that prefer to do that. So you don't have to use this harness. You can direct solder um, on the bottom or the top. Now let's take a look at this very uniquely designed flight controller. It looks sort of like a shield. Um, but what do you notice right off the back? There are direct solder places for your Crossfire Nano receiver. And I believe this is for a, a Team Black Sheep VTX down here. Now check out the silk screening label right here. Designed in Italy? Wow, like is this like Ferrari doing this? Very unique indeed. There are a number of pads up at the top. The silk screen is very legible. So your camera pads would go up here. If you're not using the Team Black Sheep um, Pro Nano 32 video transmitter, your video pads are at the rear here. Then you have a number of other pads for five volt and ground here. So DJI, you could use this. They're saying U5R and U5T. That's just your T and R for you are. So this should work totally fine with DJI as well. Um, but I think you're gonna wanna use a, a Vista because there's not like a 10 volt or nine volt output that I can see anywhere. But I really do like the um, design layout of this flight controller. Goes together quite nice um, as you can see. Um, they've kind of made the design of the flight controller a little bit narrower than standard uh, So it takes a little bit more less space I don't know if there's really a giant point to that because of how large the ESC is But it does look quite handsome and there is a place for everything If you are a team black sheep user for both your control and video system This is essentially a no-brainer makes the build incredibly easy so if you want the maximum amount of power available to power your quad, give you a little bit of security, give you some light up LED features, this just may be the stack for you. What are you gonna do for 2020, guys? Are you gonna be flying this on all Team Black Sheep products? Are you gonna be flying this with the GGI system? Is there another stack combo that you're sticking with that you have tried and true? What are you gonna do? Leave me in the comments what your most used stat going into this year. Are you experimenting with these new micros? Are you keeping it straight at the big and beefy freestyle drones with your GoPros on them? What are you guys doing? I'm very curious to know. Thanks guys.